comment. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the citizens to be heard portion of our agenda. We ask that you come forward if you have something to say and state your name, address. Uh, we ask that you keep your comments to five minutes or less. And please do not try to engage the council in the debate. We will get back with you on your problems. We also uh, ask if there's any groups that uh, wish to be heard that you'll force close to speak to your group uh, so that we won't be redundant in our re uh, request. So at this time, are there any citizens to be heard? Good evening again. Missing a few of my favorite people, but I stand before the mayor for the first time, so uh, it's an honor to be here, and you're doing lovely work as usual, committed, dedicated um, to our community, and we, we appreciate it. Um, I'm here tonight to talk to you about um, the ballot. In November, um, Georgia citizens will be asked whether to vote to amend the Constitution or not, and how that applies to you it will become clear. The Charter School Commission is what this amendment contains, and um, it's a rather confusing piece of legislation. In 2011, the Charter School Commission was found unconstitutional by the Georgia Supreme Court because the commission was made up of appointees, not elected officials like yourselves, and who, when they manage tax dollars, that is taxation without representation. So, um, so it was found unconstitutional because they are, they are um, not elected by us and shouldn't be handling our tax dollars. So this amendment uh, that's now on the ballot seeks to do that self same thing. And um, uh, this uh, commission would uh, bring about charter schools and handle our taxes with no accountability. That's not a good thing for Georgia. Additionally, the Charter School Commission is uh, utterly redundant um, and only makes government larger. Currently, we have 315 charter schools in Georgia. 94% of them are approved by their local school boards, which is a great thing. And um, when they're not, the Department of Ed handles that in their own way, and others are approved that way. So this utterly absurd um, change to uh, the Georgia Constitution is something that I hope that you would also consider opposing. It would the Charter School Commission would not only um, be a waste and redundant; it will also cost us a million dollars a year just to run the commission. And I'm sure you know that our uh, value our tax dollars since you handle them, and we don't have very many of them. You have to use that. You're be very clever with tax dollars lately. Um, in education, um, they've gone through billions of dollars in tax cuts due to austerity. And um, you've seen that in our schools, I'm sure. Over five million in cuts to the Valdosta City Schools this year alone. And our teachers have to do more with less. Our districts have adjusted by making the school year shorter. And our, and, uh, they, our teachers are also experiencing furlough days, as I know you must understand, Mr. Norton. Um, if this amendment was ratified, um, this would not alleviate the situation. In fact, it would make it worse. They, we would have more tax dollars diverted to a different pot of money. So we have one fund for education, um, and all education dollars come out of that fund. This commission would allow for twice as much money to go to certain students, and regular ed students would get then half what they get now. We just simply can't afford that. We need the best education for our students in Georgia. So, um, our school boards ratified a um, resolution stating that they supported fully funded schools, and that is in the city's best interest as well, because if our schools are, are paying for other students to get double as much money, um, that means that our students, uh, our schools are going to have to make it up somehow. And they've been very clever in avoiding raising the millage rate, but 
if they are pushed any further, they would probably have to come to you and ask for a millage rate raise. And what does that mean? Higher taxes for a redundant commission that um, serves doesn't serve our students. And it's also taking the power from our locally elected officials away. So I would hope that you would um, consider that this um, amendment to the Constitution is a, is a bad idea for Georgia. It's a bad idea for Valdosta, and it's a bad idea for our schools and our education. It's not the move forward, it's a move backwards. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Noble.